Hello guys, today I'm gonna look at those um, garden lights, garden LED lights or garden solar lights that you can buy pretty much anywhere in any store these days but majority of these or all of them actually purchased in dollar store some of them of, of or similar kind can be purchased in other stores but the dollar store usually sells them for cheap unless you find big box of them uh, in other stores uh, in bulk like uh, may they may end up cheaper so what we're gonna do today we're gonna look how they made what's inside and essentially how they work and but I mean right away we can tell it's a fairly uh, simple construction also we're gonna look at the actually physical construction of them and uh, see which one are most durable which are not also curious what kind of batteries they have inside. So uh, those are only five. Uh, I have the, the dollar store, for example, carries uh, some even some other ones. Uh, there is a few uh, different kinds. Some of them are hanging. Some of them are uh, with, for example, like this one. There is a stake which actually you plug, you uh, insert it in in the ground. Um, this one, for example, is goes on top of some kind of posts. Uh, this one, for example, goes on um, on the stairs. Uh, this one has stake. This one and this one. Um, so, for example, I have uh, used all of them. And must say that some of them are uh, less durable than others. And for example, the most durable is this one, probably because it has weather uh, shielding. So this one probably the most expensive and the most durable out of three. And the even more so, uh, this thing survived sitting in the snow uh, whole winter, working. Uh, and still charging and lighting LED while outside was like minus 25, minus Celsius. 27. So this is a really nice one uh, and all, uh, well I have only three, all three worked perfectly. This one for example uh, died pretty quickly but it's just b because probably water get in. Well that's probably the biggest issue with all of them. This died, just died, no water, it's completely fine. This one still operates despite the fact it has water in it. This one just works. The, I have like eight of these and all of them pretty much uh, working fine except one or two had electrical contact issues where I had to resolder uh, this on off switch and everything was fine. So here we are. Um, high, like They have all different size of um, solar elements so I, I, I would I suspect the dif and uh, um, the different kind of batteries inside. So bigger probably would have bigger battery, which kind of makes sense. Um, uh, smaller would have probably the smaller, smaller uh, battery and smaller LED. Uh, so let's see what uh, how they made and what's inside. What kind of electronic or pretty uh, what what ba what kind of basic electronic is in and. Um, make our conclusion based on that. So the first candidate, let's open this one. So I know this guy is pretty rusty, so I assume it uh, it just died because um, it got all rusted through and uh, some electrical contact got rusted, corroded and it's Gonski. So majority of them uh, has uh, have one LED, but for example, this one has three LEDs. It's a bit filthy here. All right, so what we have here? So we have a, a reflector with LED, one NiCad, 100 milliamp hour AAA battery. Then we have some sort of PCB, which is, oops, doesn't matter. Okay, <clears throat> so what we have here, we have a switch, we have a resistor, and we have uh, some kind of blob on the back uh, of a PCB. I so, uh, assume that's going to be a uh, charging controller essentially. So um, battery wires are connected to one of the uh, terminals or contacts on this, uh, you know, chip on on board. Like over here, and uh, another one is probably white is probably negative. Come to this this way and the battery terminals obviously one comes to negative another one goes through through this switch and goes to the battery uh, there is also this 12 ohm resistors or a resistor over here which 
probably works does, does it work as a current current limiting for the LED yeah oh no sorry 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 let me see where LED goes blue one goes here nope no y yes okay yeah it is probably current limiting uh, for the led so they're using 12 ohm resistor for that i think anyways this is pretty basic and this thing doesn't work so i can um okay let's check voltage I'll move some away. So under this light, um, this solar element is capable of generating 1.9, almost 2 volts, uh, which is actually better than I thought. It's going to be like 0.9 or 0.5 volts. So maybe that that means that I have relatively good light here. I'm curious what it's capable of on a full-blown sun, but so far we have 1.9 volts. Let's get closer to the... Oops. Yeah, so 1.9, uh, almost 2 volts. That's not bad. It's better than I expected. All right, let's move on. I might just detach this panel if it's it's it, certainly it glued. I'm curious how badly it's glued. I'm just curious if I would be able to pull it out without breaking it, because it is made of glass. Yeah, I'll do it, deal it with it next time. So next one, let's take a look at this. Uh, so this one I just pulled out of the, the st uh, stake. It was going into the ground and uh, it has some kind of had, had some kind of intermittent issues. Uh, maybe still have. So let's open it up and see how it works or what's inside. That was easy. Okay, well, looks construction is pretty similar. We have um, very similar AA hundred, probably hundred million per hours NICAD, AAA, sorry. And it just, uh, you know, obviously just plug in just like that. So you can pull it out or can put better battery inside if you really want. Here's the element, sorry, the controller with, let's unscrew it quickly this LED it's pretty basic construction pretty much the same the switch oh here we are we have something interesting here we have some kind of chip let me see what it says it says YX80185N303 interesting and some kind of text on it and again it's like again current limiting resistor and this time is orange orange brown orange orange brown and this is 330 ohms uh, way more than previous uh, uh, pre previous uh, LED uh, light oh my god I can completely disassemble all this stuff uh, so I bet this is some sort of generic um, uh, charge controller for the solar element and let me see what kind of voltage this thing would generate this one I'm not gonna cut off because I may just put it back where it used to be doesn't matter what the polarity is and then something it's not working oh 
oh wow this one generates way more so this is 2.7 volt and uh, it's amazing actually uh, I thought again it's going to be way less than that but 2.7 it's uh, nice actually nice so I have to double check what's wrong with this contraption I'm gonna probably put it back together but so far we have 2.7 volt which is more than enough of safely charge this battery and probably it actually these lights are last quite a bit uh, quite a bit time all right let's go to next one let me move some spare parts okay next one will be this one so this one is different because it doesn't have any screws it just plopped all together and obviously I need to use some destructive force in order to get through so destructive force will be like snip here snip or here and just try to pull it apart here we are yeah you can see a little bit of uh, water got in and it's all kind of oxidized and even this that's okay nice crusty 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 oh wow check check this check this out so this is super tiny some sort of NICAD battery well kind of like it <laughs> uh, never seen this battery before probably yeah no no text on it so have no idea what's the was the capacity there's no branding oh there's some kind of text MH cell that's only what I can see here nice uh, uh, stubby LED yellow blue and brown uh, so yellow blue and brown uh, resistor it's like uh, 460 ohm uh, brown is multiplier um, yeah this one is not working but only thing uh, what I'm um, uh, curious this moment it's just to get the, um, the voltage whoops doesn't matter get the voltage on this um, solar element it's probably will be small because battery the, the solar element is pretty tiny but obviously bigger the element and bigger the battery longer the light this light is gonna work so this one 2. 2.2 volts actually it's not bad again it's so much better than this one so this one is essentially the crappiest one of all it's not bad okay uh, let's clean up some dirt let's move up to next one okay this one the most interesting to me because first of all it has huge element over here and it has if you see two contraption and three LEDs so this means that this thing can be a bit more powerful than just uh, regular uh, small ones and this one is a bit more expensive obviously it's like four dollars or something to this extent and the LEDs are obviously much more powerful and so three of them okay here we are alright it's uh, okay I see pretty much again the same element uh, I, I bet it will be the oh wow you have two uh, batteries over here and only one is um, populated and let's see what's in there hmm how to open it okay some sort of double A 100 milliamp double A weird it's gonna it's gonna funny that you have 100 million power triple A and 100 million power double A and they pretty much oh my god just just falls off look at this stay look at this beefy LEDs but I think they more just lenses than anything here it's like what 100 ohm or something like that uh, or 200 ohm resistor and uh, and that's 
pretty much it they even have a little a uh, little place for capacitor over here but there is no capacitor so i'm not sure what's wrong with this one it's just not working no matter what it doesn't charge the battery maybe battery is shit uh but it's not working but there is no any 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 damage uh, so the most interesting part of this one is this uh, solar element so let me measure what the voltage is and based on that i can um think if i can play and make something out of this because if this is broken clearly i can do i can use it somewhere else okay this is i guess negative over here this is pretty much anywhere it's, it's positive and let's flip it upside down well it produces the same 2.2 volts as the small one uh the only if i do off does it gonna change anything no it's kind of weird it's way bigger element but the same voltage hmm. well uh, the only difference could be is the uh, what kind of current it can um uh Output. One more thing I would like to measure is what's on the, on the battery terminals. Like, is there when when there is a, a light shining on the element, what kind of uh, voltage we have on the battery terminals? Or if, if any. Yeah, there is something wrong with that because there is nothing on the, on the, on the battery terminals. So it definitely reacts. It's either controller busted or some kind of like wiring is seems to be fine. There is no nothing wrong with it. Yeah. So this there is something wrong with this thing, and I would like to look into this further some other day. Because clearly, is the controller supposed to um, uh, um, charge battery, and it's not working. All right. And the most interesting one is this one. Um, I like it a lot because it actually works really nicely and it still wor work if I do this. Maybe I was wrong. Because it used to work even just picking up some um, uh, light for just from the in-house lights. So this one seems to be very promising. So let's open it up and see how it's made. But I'm pretty sure it will be made as other ones. Uh, pretty much the same electronics and uh, passives very 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 simple inside but it's it's watertight so mm, look at this it has a gasket and that's why it's uh, watertight I like it a lot so what we have here Again, the AA, sorry, AAA battery. Oh, you can just pull this all element out. Nice. So much easier to work with. Um, the button. This time it's uh, push, push uh, switch on off, which is pretty nice. We have the same blob as in previous design very first one we looked at and we have um, red red brown resistor is um, 110 ohm this is pretty similar to, to to this PCB pretty much because it has this WTC 816 and this has WTC 819A so it looks like uh, the same origin 100 milliamp hour NICAD, which is surprisingly last for a long time. So maybe there is a uh, all. Oh my God, this is really potted. So I won't be able to pull this out if I wanted to for for something else. It's a lot of uh, some kind of schmoo holding this together. Anyways, um, let's let's measure the voltage uh, on this solar. Somehow we'll I'll try to do this. I mean, maybe I'll pull this. PCB out will be so much easier. Okay, 
Okay, that's white and white and yellow. Doesn't matter what the polarity is in this case. Yellow. And white. 1.3. It's interesting. It's just, this is interesting. 1.3. Is this because of this in circuit? Yes, it was in circuit and it was charging the battery at this time. So it's uh, 2.14 and um, it kind of correlates with all other findings. Uh, so the, 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 best, the, the best voltage actually was given out by this, um, uh, this battery, the, this solar element. Interesting. So my idea, I wanted to actually uh, connect instead of one LED, connect a bigger battery and string of LED lights and see how that's gonna uh, how that's gonna work. Because I think uh, also I wanted to check what's the current uh, this thing is capable right. of. This is interesting finding. All pretty much uh, um, elements, so solar solar batteries were producing uh, very similar. Uh, voltages obviously they may have different running currents but uh, I'd like to actually test short uh, short current on, on one of these uh, um, elements and see what okay uh, I've connected um, solar panel to a million per meter obviously it's a short uh, circuit current and uh, as of right now I'm getting only half of milliamp it's pretty much nothing this is because uh, we are getting the, stu uh, the uh, solar cell getting really low light because this is studio light. So on direct sunlight, on the sunlight, it will be so much more. Even on the daylight, it will be so much more, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but this gives me a, a, a reference point. For example, this solar panel at this kind of light gives half, me, uh, half of milliamp. For example, if I take uh, this solar panel and uh, solar cell it's not a panel mini solar cell it gives 0.9 uh, of milliamp so we can see the tendency a little bit bigger even uh, the voltage here is like 2 volts here is 2.2 .2 volt um, but the uh, it can uh, output a little bit bigger current so i'm pretty sure this one which is big bigger one will do a little bit more but uh, i'm not gonna detach it from the from the PCB uh, as of right now because I really want to do tests of these guys in a direct sunlight or at least in in bright sunny day just to see what they're capable of in real uh, uh, life situation so guys this is probably it for this video so we disassembled four different kind of uh, solar garden lights and we see that they are pretty basic inside and some of them are more capable than others but more the, the picture repeats itself from one to another. They made exactly of the same materials. They have little bit bigger panels, little bit bigger batteries. I mean solar solar cells, a little bit bigger solar cells, and they um, have like this one, for example, very nice um, uh, protection against elements. But in general insights are pretty much the same. I will do a quick uh, second test uh, to see what's the real capacity, sorry, output of these panels in the actually uh, daylight or sunlight, because right now, uh, yeah, it's not really, not gonna show us anything. So hope you guys like this video. Thank you, see you next time.